1822. I want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers since I started making videos consistent. I gained about 20 subscribers, so that shows y'all like the type of videos I'm putting out. So y'all decided to hit that subscribe button. So once again, thanks to the new subscribers to this channel. Now, let me get to the topic of the video right here. This is about TV ratings. The WWE, this has been a conversation for years on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and other social media platforms. This is the conversation that will never die down because we all know the W rating had been declining year after year after year. Now you have your fans that say, you know what? Yes, the ratings are declining. But W still doing good as expected, which we all already know. But just because it doesn't matter as 20 years ago, it still matters today in the world of professional wrestling. Because if the fans belief is this is other ways to watch the WWE, ratings does not matter. If that was so true, the ratings did not matter, why this man come on television? Why did they create the 24-7 title? Why did they create the wild card rule to get ratings to go up? They didn't come up with new stuff that let the ratings continue to go down. No, they want to find other ways to have the ratings go up. Why y'all rumors up? They want to put the belt on Brock Lesnar. Or T ratings to go up because ratings still matters. SmackDown going to Fox. You think Fox will give them all that money and just be happy that the rate continue to climb? No. Fox wants the rates to go up. If the rates continue to climb, you know what happened? Fox will have some input what to do with SmackDown to get the ratings to increase. In 2019, it's a TV show called Game of Thrones. I never watched it before, but I know it has a lot of fans, and fans had to wait two years for this series finale. And I looked up Game of Thrones. Had it. HBO most watched television show episode with 19.4 million viewers, which is a record. But here's the thing, people. HBO is part of a package, you know, for direct TV, Comcast, Dish, all types of cable you gotta pay for it. You had a thing called HBO Go, which is a streaming site for, well, a streaming app for HBO. So, streaming numbers and TV ratings are different. Now, people continue to pay HBO and they watch Game of Thrones live. So, where is the, the excuse of, well, there's other ways to watch such and such. People decided to watch on TV, not HBO Go. So, if Game of Thrones ratings can go up, why can't W ratings go up? I mean, why can't it? It can, but here's the thing. It called putting a good product out. People love Game of Thrones. They love it. So, they continue to watch. If the ratings went down, people could have said, yes, yeah, HBO Go. Or you could say they just lost interest. And we all know W and what it used to be. People lost interest in the WWE. Now, I know they're going to always get numbers on YouTube. I don't know how to do it on Hulu. But where do these people just fans of WWE and they're not like me and others and they don't have a lot of pain. They just watch it. There's a lot of fans just like that too because when you go to an event, all the fans aren't the same like me. When it comes to television ratings, it's always going to matter at the end of the day. Even though you can compare it to 20 years ago and you can say it don't matter like it used to, which I agree. But it still matters to a certain point. The NFL ratings, 2018 increased, 2017 down. Why ain't it continuing to go down then? 2017 down, 2018 up. Increase. So television ratings are always going to matter at the end of the day. Why do you think TV shows are canceled? Because ratings are down. So they say, you know what? It's not going to work. We're going to get rid of the show. And let's talk about something that's not TV ratings, but still counts for something. Streaming numbers. I'm a fan of the Marvel television shows. 
But you know what? Marvel decided to cancel all the shows. You know why? Because certain show just not reaching a certain number that Netflix went. All the money they put into these TV shows are not given back to Netflix. So Netflix decided, you know what? We are not going to tell you these TV series because the streaming number is showing that people just have no interest in these TV shows. So now we are on the last TV series of Jessica Jones. After this, there's no more of the Netflix Marvel superhero series. And that's what is going on with the world of WWE. When W at its best, the ratings went up. When WCW got at the worst, the ratings went down. And that's when TV ratings still count. People didn't have other outlets to watch WCW Nitro Thunder. The product got so bad, people stopped watching. They started watching WWE during the Monday Night Wars. So, people, TV ratings are still going to matter. It's still going to matter to the W just because you say it does not, it still does. Because you watching what's going on right now with the W. And the reason why they're doing this new stuff right here, because they find a way to get people to have interest in the WWE. Now, it's not working, of course, because the product is still bad. But they're still going to try to find ways to increase the viewers because they know ratings still matters to them. You think they want to go to Fox and be under twos? You think Fox want to be under twos? No, Fox want to be in the threes. They want to be in the fours because Fox is a huge network. You think... NFL want ratings to go down? No. They want ratings to go up. Did NBA want ratings to go down? No. NBA want ratings to go up. Everybody who's in the television business want ratings to go up. Everybody have an opinion. But just because you say it doesn't mean it's true. TV ratings will always still matter. No TV show will survive with the climb of ratings year after year. But luckily, W is totally different from other television shows because W does not end. W has a history, so it will always be around. But when it comes to a lot of TV shows that have been streaming, TV ratings, if your ratings continue to climb, if your streaming numbers continue to climb, they do not want you anymore. So numbers on television, streaming sites will always matter because the proof is in the pudding in 2019 when I brought up Game of Thrones. And NFL in 2019 rating should be higher than 2018. So as I said video right here, give me your thoughts about TV rating in 2019 when it comes to W and other entertainment outlets. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.